How to Export Jenkins Jobs. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Now there may be times where you want to export jobs from your Jenkins controller. We're going to take a look at how to do that using the Jenkins CLI. If you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there's a link to a video down in the description about how to use the Jenkins CLI. So since you've already got your Jenkins CLI set up, let's go and take a look at how we're going to export the job. We'll go to Manage Jenkins. We'll scroll down to Jenkins CLI, and we're going to look for the command get job. So what's going to happen is it's going to dump the job definition XML out to standard out. But then we're going to take that and redirect it to a file. So let's go back up to the top of our controller. We'll see that we have test job created. So if we go over to our CLI, we're going to type in java-jar Jenkins CLI jar get job using the command that we saw from our Jenkins CLI help. We're going to give it the name test job, and then we're going to redirect that to test-job.xml. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And what we'll see here, if we take a less of test job XML, we're going to see the full definition of our job as XML. So at this point, we could take this job definition and we could either re-import it back into our controller that we have right now, or we could take this definition and apply it to create the job on a different controller. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.